Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna do just this one, JS8. Okay, it's similar to FT8 settings. Radio. In my case, it's gonna be the 991A, which is why you're watching this video. So, we need PTT to be cat, uh, mode, USB, um, rig options, cat control. Okay, the data bits need to be eight, stop bits need to be two, handshake needs to be hardware. Then click OK. Um, it doesn't like something. Setting. So what it is is there's two COM ports. There's a six and seven. One is the enhanced one, and seven is the one you need. And then we click uh, test the cat. Seems rather slow. Well, we need to change this baud rate. This wasn't showing before. So, baud rate has to match the radio. We're at 38,400. And now we should be able to test the cat. And it should work. Still not working. And double check everything. Okay, there we go. It does work. It's just extremely slow. Now you can test the PDT. Radio's keyed up. Click OK. We need to make sure that the audio is correct. OK. So all that's good. And um, I'm on two meters right now. You click here, it'll go to whatever you want it to do. So you can adjust the frequency here. I'm not gonna get into the usage of everything else. Um, but the only popular band I think really, is probably 20 meters and 40 meters. And right now I've got a lot of interference from my solar running, so I'm not really hearing anything. Plus, this isn't nearly as active. So, in order to uh, figure out the settings in the radio, watch my FT8 video. Um, this is just how to do this one. But, it's in the other video. So anyway, thanks for watching.